welcome to Ucanon. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can test the um, brake pad wear sensor. Then I'm going to show you how you by bypass a brake pad wear sensor. And third, I will go over why you shouldn't actually bypass it, but instead of just replace it and install a new one. So the way you test these sensors is you can unplug it from there. Then you can take a, a digital multimeter that can measure current and you're gonna set it right here on this setting where you test you can test the two leads and it should beep okay we have to press that all right so that means that is continuation from this um, to this one when you touch these together so meaning electrons are traveling back to the so the same thing should happen when we touch the two terminals in here this wire should connect to there, then come back and come over here. So if electrons are traveling, they're traveling through here, going all the way there and coming back. Now if the wear sensor, if the brake pads are worn, what happens is basically a wire that comes through here, the wire that comes through here gets cut because the pads are worn and the electron cannot come right through back here. And so when you touch these two separately, one there and one there, you no longer hear a beep, all right? So that means that this sensor is worn out. All right, so you can see this wire is here is cut, okay? So next, I'm gonna show you how you bypass it. Now, remember, it's recommended you replace these, but I'll show you how you bypass it. If we expose the wires here a little bit, like I have right there, I expose this wire and that one, then you twist, if you twist that sensor like that, what's happening here is that the this is making contact right there. Electrons will travel through there, then come right back here. And so it's, you're triggering the ABS system to think that that sensor is good, but when it's not. So if we test this sens sensor now, connect one there. Right, so that is, you can hear that. So that means that the electrons are traveling through here, back to that. They're not going all the way there, but they're traveling here and coming back. You can reconnect this. The car is gonna think you have a good sensor. And so that warning is gonna go away. But the problem with doing this, even though you don't have a warning, is when the brake pads wear, what's gonna happen is the pad, the sensor is gonna warn you that, hey, you need new new pads. But if, if the sensor is, a bypass like this what's going to happen is the the metal part of the brake pad is going to start touching the rotor for one if you don't replace the rotor so every single time you replace pads well now you're going to have to because this metal part of the pad is going to touch the rotor and it's going to create grooves and channels and that rotor is basically uh, useless it's done you need to replace it well the other th reason why you shouldn't bypass the sensor is because you're not gonna know when your pads are worn out and uh, then you just have no warning. You might be on a long trip and um, all of a sudden you start hearing that grinding noise and it'll be because the, the metal part of the pad is touching the rotor and you have no warning at all. At all and now your uh, braking distance is significantly reduced and you know, which could lead to accidents and issues like that. So that's why you shouldn't bypass a brake pad wear sensor. Thank you for watching.